do, how did the Prophet ﷺ advise us to protect ourselves from the imposter Messiah? So in addition to implementing the fara'id, of course, I mean, if Muslims are not praying their five daily prayers, good luck. Bain al-kufri wal-iman tarku salat Non-praying Muslims, these are low-hanging fruit for the Dajjal. A cakewalk, child's play. Abu Darda radiallahu anhu, he reported the hadith in Sahih Muslim, man hafidha ashara ayatin min awwal surat al-kahf, usima min al-dajjal. Whoever has memorized the first 10 ayat of Surah Al-Kahf is protected from the Dajjal. In another version of Tirmidhi, Man qara'a, man qara'a thalatha ayatin in awal al-Kahf, usima min fitnat al-Dajjal. Whoever just recites three verses from the beginning of Surah Al-Kahf is protected against the Dajjal. Just recite these verses. Whenever you notice something Dajjalic and, and have an intention, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you from this influence, this insidious influence. It takes 20 seconds. He also said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, In yakhruj wa ana fikum, fa ana hajijuhu dunakum, wa in yakhruj wa lastu fikum, fa mru'un hajiju nafsihi. Aw kama qala alayhi salatu wa salam. Sahih Muslim. If the imposter Messiah emerges and I am among you, then I will contend with him on your behalf. But if he emerges and I am not among you, then every person must contend for himself. Another way to translate this, if the imposter Messiah emerges and I am in you, فيكم, I am in you, then I will contend with him on your behalf. And one of my teachers said, فيكم means that we have internalized the love of the Prophet Muhammad in our hearts, the reverence of the Prophet Muhammad in our hearts, the beauty and majesty of the Prophet Muhammad in our hearts, the teaching and sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad in our hearts. If he is hayyun fi qulubina, then it is as if the Prophet is contending on our behalf.